Oh, what's up, everybody? I got up a little bit late this morning. It was raining all night, and uh, it's cold out. And I really didn't want to be out there hunting while it was raining. But it finally kind of stopped. And uh, chances of rain are pretty low. Starting in about an hour. So I guess it's about time to get ready to roll this morning. Um, I'm going to be hunting some flat ground. Wore myself out on those ridges yesterday. So um, we're going to go pretty close to where... Uh, where I shot that buck. Um, check out some of the areas over there. The wind is gonna be good for that side of the river. Let's get ready to roll. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush! Money! That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby! You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down.
Damn, it crossed the road. Oh guys, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man, I'm shaking. So my wind, <clears throat> the thermals are starting to suck down down the hill here towards where the deer have been coming from so I'm gonna get out of here before I booger everything up instead of going down to where I shot the doe and trailing her blood from there I saw her cross the road um, so what I'm gonna do I marked everything on the map so I kind of have an idea of where she crossed the road I'm gonna back out of here I'm gonna pull my decoy I'm gonna go up uh, the way that I came um, and then I'm just gonna go down to the road with my truck um, I'm gonna have to get permission from the neighboring property so I'm just kind of biding my time I don't want to go knocking on the door it's only like 730 right now most people haven't even gotten up yet um, yeah, this just goes to show, you know, you can hunt, um, private land just like public land. You know, there's no corn, there's no crops, nothing in this area or on this property. Um, and it's heavily used. It's super busy here. It's actually a, um, business that's run on this property. So there's people all over this property frequently and when I hunt it I only get a few hours in the morning and a few hours in the evening um, so there's a lot of pressure not necessarily hunting but still human pressure and uh, I just looked for the hot sign I found it put a camera on it and there's been deer consistently in this spot I really want that 10 point which is why I don't want to booger up this area so I just checked where I think she crossed the road. There's a little bit of blood on the road, but it has some stuff in it. It looks like gut matter. I found out from the property owners of the property that I've been hunting is that the people that own this property that the deer went on to don't live here. It's just like a farm property or something. So I'm kind of debating what to do she said just go ahead and go get it they they know this person but they don't have the contact info so there's a very clear trail right here so you can see right here this is where the deer were crossing and then there's a low part of the fence right here that they clearly um, are using and there's game trails all over the place in there so all right, I'm going to go to the neighbors and see if they have the contact info. Uh, what was your name? Mark. Mark. Mark Barton. Mark Barton. Uh, yeah, but he's from he's from Florida. He had came up and hunted up here before, and I met him about seven years ago. And so, but he didn't, he was kind of leery about going in there without, you know, letting somebody know something or whatever. Yeah, no, I don't, that shouldn't be a big deal. He's just going over there to track. All right. Officially got permission now. Um, so this guy, I had talked to him seven years ago when I was here last. And uh, so I, I recognized him. He owns a property on the back side of this. And um, anyway, he uh, called the owner. I got permission to track and carry my gun just in case I gotta make a follow-up shot because to be honest the blood doesn't look great I think I hit liver all right got a little bit of blood right here if I hit her good she can't be far the question is did she go that way or that way my guess is that she probably went this way oh god it's all thorny as hell Oh, 
this is gonna suck. Is that blood? No, that's not blood. Here we got a little more blood. There she is. You dead deer? Yeah, I hit her a little further back than I wanted to. I think she was quartered pretty hard. If you've ever tried to load a deer, in the bed of your truck by yourself you know just how hard it can be i'm going to show you how i do it this trick has worked out pretty good for me take a ratchet strap most of you have ratchet straps laying in the back of your truck tie a little loop on the end and then put that around the leg that is laying on the bottom like the one that's closer to the uh to the ground so when you pull up you're gonna pick up the whole body not just split the legs and it'll girth hitch, it'll cinch down onto that leg and then get up into the bed of the truck. You can just drag her right up into here. And by right up, I mean, it's still not gonna be easy, but once you get a hold of those legs, easy peasy, that's an old doe good amount of meat on there. All right guys, going out for the afternoon hunt. Let's see if that 10 pointer will come out. I'm gonna put the decoy out again, see if we can't get him to come. All right guys, we're set up. The decoy is right down there. This was the same spot I had this morning.
big one. That's the big one. Hey dear, are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Holy crap. I can't believe it right now. That thing is huge. Absolutely smoked him. Smoked him. <laughs> 